You can afford a $1,500 per month mortgage payment. You have a 30-year fixed loan at 6% interest. A, how big of a loan can you afford? B, how much total money will you pay the loan company? And C, how much of that money is interest? We will answer this question using the loan formula shown here below, where P sub zero is the loan amount, PMT is the loan payment, R is the annual interest rate as a decimal, N is the number of compounds per year, which if not given, we will use the frequency of the payments, and T is the length of the loan in years. Because the question is how big of a loan you can afford, we are trying to determine P sub zero, which gives us the equation P sub zero is equal to, and then we have this quotient on the right, where in the numerator we have PMT, which in our case is $1,500, times the quantity one minus, and then in parentheses we have the quantity one plus R divided by N, raised to the power of negative N times T. So we have one plus R is 6%, which is a decimal is 0 0.06 divided by N. And because the payments are monthly, N is 12. And this sum is raised to the power of negative N times T, which gives us negative 12 times T is the length of the loan in years. And the loan is a 30 year loan, and therefore T is 30, giving us times 30. And then we have close parenthesis, and all this is divided by R divided by N, which is 0 0.06 divided by 12. And now let's evaluate this on the calculator. But when we enter a complicated fraction on the calculator, it is important to have parentheses around the numerator and denominator so that it's interpreted correctly. So when entering this quotient or fraction, we'll add another set of parentheses here. So going to the calculator, we have open parenthesis 1,500 open parenthesis one minus open parenthesis one plus 0 0.06 divided by 12, close parenthesis raised to the power of negative 12 times 30. And now we press the right arrow to get out of the exponent. And then we have close parenthesis and then close parenthesis for the numerator. And this is all divided by in parentheses we have 0 0.06 divided by 12, and enter. We're told to round to the nearest dollar, and therefore the biggest loan you can afford is $250,187. Part B, how much total money will you pay the loan company? Well, assuming you take the largest loan, you will pay $1,500 per month for 30 years, and therefore you pay the loan company a total of $1,500 times the number of months in 30 years, which is 30 times 12. 30 times 12 is 360, giving us 1,500 times 360, which is equal to $540,000. And for part C, how much of that money is interest? To determine the total interest, you take the money that you paid, which is $540,000, and subtract the loan amount of $250,187. And $540,000 minus $250,187 is equal to $289,813. So notice how you end up paying more in interest than the actual loan amount. I hope you found this helpful.